<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about some uh, college football. Um, two more games I want to recap, and so I'm going to get to the first one here, and then I'll upload the second one after that. So we're into it. So we're talking about Alabama, LSU, uh, the two of the ranked games I want to talk about, the final two ranked games that I want to talk about. I'll do USC and Washington in a separate video. But what hell of a game between LSU and Alabama. Throughout most of the game, Alabama pulled away in the second half. Though, thought it was going to be a three or at the end, but they kind of pulled away there um, in the second half. Outscored them 21-7. to LSU's offense kind of... It was kind of cold. After, kind of cold. I didn't have one. Jalen, um, Jaden Daniels went out of the game. Uh, went out with an injury. I took a violent hit down 42-28. I mean, they were down by 14 points. Probably going to win. But he played good enough. I thought that Jaden Daniels, 15 to 24, 219 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. I thought a good game from Jaden Daniels. Uh, he also had 11 runs, 163 yards, 14.8 carry, one touchdown. Both run, both quarterbacks ran the football a lot tonight. And they ran a pretty successful. Um, uh, Jay Williams, uh, Josh Williams, had a rushing touchdown. Um, two had the other rushing touchdown. Four carries, 19 yards, and a touchdown. Logan Diggs, eight runs, 24 yards. The running backs really didn't do much. It was really the quarterback for LSU that carries the run game. Had 163 of those 206 total yards. So outside of Jaden Daniels, they kind of struggled to run the football. I'm late neighbors, man. He's so good. 10 catches, 171, one touchdown. He's going to be really good at the NFL level, up for sure. I'm late neighbors. I mean, the LSU's offense did all they could, I thought. Most of the game was just the defense, man. Two 14-point quarters, and they, they let him score a touchdown in every quarter. Because 14-7, 14-7. They scored a touchdown in all four quarters. So LSU's defense, man. Yeah, 500, 507 total yards, 288 rushing. Uh, gave up 28 total first downs. Alabama was crazy efficient on third down, 11-14. And that one turnover, LSU killed him as well. Um, but yeah, Jalen Milrow, 15-23, 219 yards. Didn't do much throwing really, but I don't know how they let him kill him on the ground like this. 20 runs, 155 yards, 7.8 carry, 4 touchdowns. They, they didn't deserve to win this game. Give up 6 total rushing touchdowns. They didn't they didn't even throw a passing touchdown night, and LSU's defense couldn't stop nothing. Uh, Jace McClellan, 14 runs, 63 yards, 4.5 carrying a touchdown. He also had 1 catch for 42 yards. Um, Roy Dale Williams, 6 runs, 56 yards, 9.3 carrying a touchdown. They just had no answer to stop the running game at LSU. Jalen Miro beat him with his legs. Didn't even have to throw much tonight. Uh, Isaiah Bolland, 5 catches, 60 yards. Uh, J J Jamarion Miller, 1 catch, 35 yards. They had a few big plays in this game. Did a lot of big plays at L uh, Alabama, but a few big receiving plays. So, they didn't have to do much saving, though. So, um, good win for Alabama. They've picked it up from the start of the season. When they lost Texas, I'm like, oh, they ain't going to be that good. But they've picked it up. They're playing much better than they were to start the year. So, you all give credit where credit's due. And just LSU's defense wasn't good. Like, tackling. They just couldn't, they couldn't stop nothing. They played terrific, and Milro I thought was great. And I thought this was as close to a complete game as Alabama's played this year. I feel like they played a complete game. Like it's gonna be hard. LSU's gonna put up points, but Alabama's defense I thought played much better in the second half, only giving up seven points. I thought they played a lot, lot better in the second half. Yeah, uh, Alabama wins 42-28. So, um, that's all I'll say for this video. So, until next time, I have a lot. Peace.